Babe, I sure wish you were here. But you're not. All right, everybody, welcome to Lake Okeechobee. We're out here catching crappy, speck, whatever you want to call them. We're having a blast. I got Daniel, his buddy Ryan, got Uncle Larry, and uh, currently, Remy and Marlon are in timeout. Remy, tell everybody that you're in timeout. Marlon, you're in timeout too, because you won't stop running around like a mad dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's his way of saying hello, everybody. So the closer we get to dark, the better these fish are going to bite. The crappie really, really bite well, right at first light and right at last light. So we're here set up, really thick weeds to the inside of us, and all these fish are going to be moving out into this flat to be feeding on minnows and grass shrimp. Well, we're here. We're using a long shank gold hook with a live minnow. Then we've got a split shot sinker. And I'm, there we go. Oh, come on, pull off, pull off. Oh, Cappy's in a... We're at zero. We're, I'm at zero, folks. I got the old catfish, channel cat. We're gonna have to start po giving points for these things. <laughs> nice eating. Oh, coming around back here. Got him right here. Oh, came off at the boat. Oh, Larry, tearing him up. Tearing him up. Look at the size of that crappie. In the boat, in the boat. Should we get the gaff? Get Boom! Yeah. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. We got the dogs. And if you want to know one of the keys to catching these crappie, you want to have good live baits. This Engel dry box, it's got a pump and it keeps the water cool. Here you go, Larry. Throw them right in there on the ice. Nice crappie. Bam. Times like this or when you need a full-time cameraman. You know if Larry's catching, they're biting good. <laughs> crappie. When the fish really start biting good, you can just fish with a cane pole just right next to the boat and really catch them. When you're hooking your bait, you gotta hold it, hold the head right here. Oh, Larry, Larry just had one up there. And you want your bait nice and lively, just like that. All right, so when you are trying to unhook a catfish, grab him around is like that, because that top spine and these two side spines will stick you. Channel cat, baby. Oh, I don't hear you. Got him, got him. It's a miracle, y'all. Got him. Got him. Oh, Brian's got one up front. Yeah, baby. Big old crappy. Big old crappy. Babe, I sure wish you were here. But you're not. Speck, crappy, crappy, whatever you call it, I call it dinner. Now, for any of you guys, who are thinking about coming down to Lake Okeechobee and going on a fishing trip, check out my mom and dad's lodge. It's a big lake lodge and RV park. They have RV spots, camp spots, uh, efficiencies, everything. Got him right here. Got him. Look at the shoulders on that rascal. Double. Pow. Beauty. Here, put him in ice. Awesome. Oh, getting one right here. I'm telling y'all, when it gets hot, it gets hot. Well, you guys, it's getting dark. We caught a bunch of catfish, a bunch of crappie, enough for a really nice dinner at the lodge. We're gonna go back, now we're gonna clean them. 
Honey Pie, hope you're having fun in Wisconsin. I love you. I'll see you and Aria soon. Yeah. Hey there everybody and welcome to Tasty Tuesday. Today is unique. Sarah and Aria are up with her family in Wisconsin enjoying the snow and the cold weather. I'm down here. Yesterday we had a phenomenal day out on the lake catching all these crappy nice big bass. Me and Larry were just having a great time. But there's a family in our church that they're not having such a great time. Um, the husband, Mr. Jerry, is is ill to the point of death. He's got brain cancer and it's such a heartbreaking situation. So tonight's Tasty Tuesday, I'm gonna use some of the fish that we caught yesterday to cook for their family. I'm gonna deliver it over there in a little bit. Now, I'm not doing this for any type of publicity. I'm not doing this as any type of pounding my chest. I'm just doing this because they're family in need and I can help in a little bit of way. So, First off, I mean, I wouldn't be using this if I didn't truly believe it. This is the best all-around spice I've ever used. It's Everglades Original. It's the stuff I grew up on. And so I'm just going to lightly season it. Then I'm going to take some Hellman's mayonnaise. Just, you don't have to go crazy with the Everglades. I'll show you. And just roll the mayonnaise. Get it nice and covered. This is going to be very good, you guys, I promise. This is just Kellogg's Corn Flakes breadcrumbs. You can use panko breadcrumbs, but just make sure the breadcrumbs don't contain a lot of seasoning or you'll overdo it. Look how nice that is. Look at that beauty. So now that's all fixed. I'll give my next pan a little spray with nonstick spray. And then you want to evenly lay your fish out. Just like that. A little cheese. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Look at that. All right, now you just have to understand, I'm gonna be cooking this in the oven at their house. I'm gonna bake it at 325 degrees for about 12 to 14 minutes. Then I'll turn on the broiler just until it gives the cheese a little brown on top. Now, if you bake it and it gets brown, you don't have to broil it. The broiler is just to give the top a little bit of a brown look. Now, due to the circumstances, the last thing I want to do is go over there and bring this meal to them and be like, well, here I am filming my YouTube channel. You know, just understand, folks, this is a dish that I truly believe they're going to love. And if you're out with your kids or family or by yourself, try this. And I urge all of you, just try to go out of your way today or tomorrow or sometime this week. Just do something for somebody that they totally don't expect out of the goodness of your heart and watch what it does. It's gonna be more of a blessing to you than to them. Thank you all so much for being a part of Dear Meat for Dinner. I have a head cold, I feel like crud, but I'm happy and my heart is sorrowful for the Nicholas family. God bless you all, have a wonderful day. We'll see you next week.